The other thing I'm going to do with my column is try and bridge the gap between town and country, so we've got sort of like a lot of rural people that think a certain way and a lot of urban people that think a certain way um, and maybe having a weekly column in the daily news may be um, some way that a farmer might be able to bring the two parties a little bit closer together and we can all work positively um, to lessen our environmental impact and um, help our country in the future. My name's Lynn Webster and I'm a share milker. I'm a 50-50 on a 175 cow farm in Whitra in Taranaki. Um, I've got two daughters, 17 and 12 years old. Um, it's a photo of my family. I've won the Share Milker of the Year award. And I've also done some studies with Ag ITO where I've got my certificate in agribusiness. It's been chewed by the rats. The garage. My farming business is quite small um, and I actually struggled with making ends meet um, and about a year ago I had a good look at my personal spending and found that I was spending a lot of money on groceries and what I did is I put a hundred dollar limit on my grocery budget. That led me to making my own cleaning products just out of necessity. Um, that's actually come to the national interest and I've developed these recipes for homemade cleaning products and cosmetics and I've also got a website that's had 170,000 hits since July last year. So inadvertently in my uh, endeavours to save money I've um, created another business which I run side to side with my she milking business and that's basically selling books and recipes. I initially started um, my other business in an endeavour to save money, but what it's done is opened up um, the doors to being much more environmentally aware. And um, just in my own household, I've cut down on waste, and we've obviously saved a lot of money, but we've also uh, put a lot less chemicals out into the environment, and we're living on a lot healthier. And I decided that it would be a good idea to transfer those positive environmental benefits across onto my farming business, and that's made me much more aware of sustainable farming. So what I really need to do is have a look at my share milking business and just see that it's meeting the needs of today, but what I'm doing is also taking care of the needs of the future generations. Um, one example of transferring the recipes for home, which includes such things as making your own laundry powder for five cents a load as opposed to 50, can be transferred directly across into the farm. Um, I've discovered a way of making a shed cleaner um, which I've published on my website that can literally save you hundreds of dollars and it's very good for the environment. Instead of buying XY12 for $80 um, for 20 litres, you can make up 20 litres of your own um, shed cleaner for about $2 and it works just as well. Plus you can actually put your hand into the bucket um, and not worry if it goes on your skin because it doesn't hurt. All that it consists of is dense soda ash which is easily um, sourced from farm supplies store, uh, white vinegar and water plus a squirt of detergent and that will clean your shed and your outside of your cups just as well as a harsh chemical. Because I've got a weekly column in our local newspaper, the Taranaki Daily News, that's an excellent vehicle for me to spread the word about things that I do that are successful. Um, in the future I intend to do some studies on sustainable farming um, and find out some more easy ideas that you actually can do on the farm and implement. Um, I was lucky enough to get on national TV um, and I mentioned my shed cleaner and did a demonstration on Good Morning um, and actually made it. And since then I've had um, quite a few emails and comments back from dairy farmers all over the country, either A, they made it up and they love it, or B, they want to know the recipe. So I've actually published it on my website, um, which is called www.pigtitsandparsleysource, um, and it's had 170,000 hits since July, which is unbelievable to me really, because I haven't really advertised it. Um, and so, so because I'm now much more environmentally aware, I want to make improvements on my own farm and then if they're successful I want to tell other farmers about it so they can as well. But often environmental um, issues are like in the too hard basket, they're things you can't really do anything about, so like too much carbon, global warming, they're great big things you can't do anything about, but small things you can do, so you can make your own shed cleaner, you can make your own laundry powder, you can cut back on waste, you can do things like I have which um, 
just for example on my farm the effluent wasn't working all that well and I managed to get the effluent irrigator serviced and plus I've changed changed the um, fittings from Hanson fittings to Camlocks and now I've actually extended that effluent from 5 hectares to 12 and it's a um, good simple system that works really well and I'm proud of it. Um, so that's just a small example of something you can actually do yourself that's very proactive. What I've learnt dairy farming on my own is that to express my views not necessarily as a woman or as a share milker but just more if I think something, I've got to say it as a person that's got something valuable to offer, that's going to be of benefit to myself and others, and not get too hung up on stigmas attached with women in dairying.